breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Malami's absence stops hearing of MBA sued against his office. Malami's absence stops hearing of MBA sued against his office. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The absence of the Antony General of the Federation, AGF, and the Minister of Justice, Abu Bakr Malami San, on Thursday stalled the hearing in a suit against his office by the Nigerian Bar Association MBA at the Federal High Court in Abuja. Hodo, Malami was served with hearing notice in the suit marked FHC ABJCS 77-2022. He neither appeared in court nor represented by a lawyer and no explanation was given for his absence. Counsel to the MBA, Ibrahim Sondi Ahmed San, expressed displeasure over the AGF's absence in court in the suit in which he is a sole defendant. Amey informed the trial judge, Justice Donatos Okoronwo, that the AGF had filed a memorandum of conditional appearance and counsel affidavit to the originating summons of the MBA served on him and wondered why the defender did not deem it fit to be in court. The senior lawyer, however, said that since the matter was for mention, he urged the court to give an adjournment for the defendant to have another opportunity to appear in court. Justice Okorowo, in a reaction, confirmed that the HGF was duly served with the hearing notice and originating summons and had even taken steps in filing memorandum of appearance and counter affidavit on record. The judge, however, granted the request for adjournment and fixed a new hearing date for May 12, 2022. The MBA president, Olumide Akpata, and a retinue of officers of the MBA, an umbrella body of all lawyers in the country, witnessed the proceedings of the court on Thursday. The incorporated trustees of the MBA had dragged the AGF before the court, challenging the validity of the rules of professional conduct for legal practitioners amendment rules 2021 section high number 15 of 2020 enacted by the Antony general of the federation mba while faulting the rules as being unlawful is praying the courts to void and set it aside in the interest of justice and fairness to practicing lawyers in Nigeria. The association specifically asked the court to interpret sections 1, 11, 12, and 20 of the Legal Practitioners Act and determine whether the AGF, who is just one member of the bar, can act alone in the discharge of functions of NBA counsel without the impute of contributions of other members of the council or 
in consultation with them. MBA also prayed the court to further interpret the sections of the Act and determine whether the AGF can validly and without any recourse to the General Council of the Bar or consultations with other members to amend, purport to amend or to have amended the rules of professional conduct for legal practitioners through the instrumentality of the rules of professional conduct for legal practitioners dated September 3, 2020 and contained in Nigerian's official gazette number 140, volume 117 of September 7, 2020. Upon proper interpretation of the sections of the Act, the MB asks the courts to declare that the AGF who is just one member of the General Council of the Bar cannot act alone in the discharge of the functions of the Council without the input or contributions of other members of the Council or in consultations with them. MBA, therefore, prayed the court for an order certain aside on unifying the purported rules of professional conduct for legal practitioners as purportedly made unilaterally by the AGF on September 3, 2020. The MBA also applied for an order of perpetual injunction restraining the AGF, his agent and servant from giving effect or further giving effect to the, to the contentious rules of professional conduct for legal practitioners' rules purportedly made on September 3, 2020. Malami's absence stalls the hearing of MBA suit against his office. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section. And let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.